The COVID-19 pandemic has forced a whole lot of changes, not only for the Super Bowl event, but for all sports. Leagues have had to get creative, creating bubbles, adding tracking devices during games. And tonight, the Miami Heat will start letting a limited number of fans in the stands with the help of COVID sniffing dogs. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live. You've talked to some experts, Jenny, about how effective this is. Yeah, right now they say it's about 83% effective, according to a study that was done with these dogs back in July. And that's about as effective as the rapid tests are right now. Now, dogs are being used at airports in several other countries. So anecdotally, they say that they could be even more accurate than that 83%. And so if we look at the olfactory sensitivity of a dog, um, they have about 300 million receptors, whereas humans only have about five to six million. The idea of using dogs to sniff out danger is nothing new. We've seen them in action for years, looking for drugs and explosives. Most recently, they've been put to work at airports in Chile and Finland looking for COVID. And so a canine's ability to sniff that, not just with COVID, um, but proven out with malaria, proven out with Parkinson's, proven out with different cancers. Those proven skills now helping all of us get back to doing the things we've missed. And when you're looking at a large scale event um, with the capacity that a basketball game has or the Super Bowl has, and with the budget potentially that those, those events have, you can make sure that you are getting the the correct dog for the procedure that you need. We want to take every precaution possible. So I think the dog sniffing is great. I think the rapid testing is great. Anything we can possibly do to keep people safe at this point in time. And Caitlin, you know, I've had a COVID test and I'd rather be sniffed down by a dog than shove one of those swabs up my nose again. Yeah, you and me both, Jenny, for sure. And so we've got a pretty big event around the corner 10 days from now. Any word about the dogs being used at the Super Bowl? No, we haven't heard anything about that. And if we do, I mean, it's definitely an option for them, especially with Miami Heat using it. But if we do hear something about them choosing to use dogs, we'll, of course, let you know. All right.